Hey guys, it's Gundidi here, and I got something cool for you. This is not a new gun in any sense of the word, but it is a gun that I've wanted for a, quite a long time. Not specifically this model, but I've wanted a pair of ordnance for a long time. Anyone that knows pair of ordnance knows that they uh, really got their namesake because of a special characteristic of the 1911 that they did. What they did is they took a standard 1911 style gun and double stacked it. So these guys are 45 ca caliber, but they have a large magazine capacity. Now this one is the Para uh, LDA Carry 12. This one is a specific, specifically a concealed carry pistol. It is designed to be more of that uh, officer model of 1911 because it's got a three and a half inch barrel and a shorter grip uh, but unlike a officer carry that only holds like what is it uh, seven rounds this guy holds 12 you get 12 rounds of 45 in this guy and this one is a concealed carry model because they bobbed the hammer on there uh, they shorten the beaver tail so that way it's easy to conceal carry. And then uh, it is a double action only. So let me show you that trigger. Uh, empty, of course. Now, uh, what's really neat is you can notice that it kind of pre cocks that uh, bobbed hammer. And what it does, it is a double action, so it pulls the hammer back while you're doing it. But once you hit that wall, it's a very, very light an easy break and then there's no, there's no over travel after the break but it makes a dead trigger after that so just like a 1911 it's got to reset that hammer in order for you to be able to pull back out and that reset let's show you that reset again that reset brings you out to here but that's a false wall you actually have to go all the way back out to the full reset of the trigger in order to break that. It's kind of a neat gun. Of course, it is outdated comparative to modern pistols, um, but it is a neat uh, piece of history and something that I really like. I really like the Para Ordnance Warthog, uh, which this is the closest I can get to a Warthog without spending quite a bit more money. Uh, but uh, once I get a Warhog, we'll definitely throw it on this channel. But it is a really cool gun. It is uh, just like a standard 1911. You do have a uh, safety. You have a grip safety. Uh, you have removable, adjustable uh, grips. Well, not adjustable, just removable grips. Uh, and then you have kind of Novak-ish style sights. Um, I'm not sure what you would call them, but they're a three-dot sight. And you got rear cocking serrations and... Other than that, it's just a plain Jane gun. What's really cool is mine came with two 12 round mags, which these are kind of hard to find now. So it's nice they came with two of them. And to showcase how old this gun is, this guy came with a, let's see if I can get it out of the box. Ah. A videotape instruction manual I mean that kind of gives you an idea of how old these uh, these paras are because well when's the last time you saw a VHS player but definitely cool, cool and definitely a really neat pistol and I'm glad that I'll be adding this to the collection and you'll definitely see a, a shooting review of this pistol coming very soon guys this is Gun Deity, this is a pair of ordnance, and we will both see you next time.